When determining where I wanted to attend college, I mostly looked at UNCG and Western Carolina. These universities were the only two I was interested in that had art education departments. As cliche as it sounds, I chose to attend Western because it felt right when I visited. I lived in Walker Hall my freshman year and officially started art courses my second semester. I had to dabble in a little bit of everything, including oil painting, sculpture, photography, graphic design, welding, printmaking, and ceramics to develop my skill set and expand my knowledge. Erin Tapley was assigned as my advisor because she is the art education department. I worked closely with her throughout my college career, but especially in my art education methods courses, which challenged me to think about how and why students need to be taught in the arts. In high school, I had decided to apply for the North Carolina Teaching Fellows Program. I was not initially accepted, but was waitlisted, which is lucky considering I applied less than a week before the deadline for applications. Over winter break of my freshman year of college, I was notified that a spot was available and at Western. I chose to accept the scholarship and join my cohort for the spring semester. Teaching fellows was a really great experience for me because of the energy and enthusiasm that everyone we interacted with had for education. It allowed me to travel abroad to England, Ireland, and Wales, and then again to Italy, Greece, and Turkey. A year later, the first week of my second semester of my sophomore year, my granddaddy died. He was the first death I had ever experienced. I kept to myself a lot the remainder of that semester, and I only told two of my friends what had happened. I grieved alone, and I took a long time to feel more emotionally stable again. The following summer, I had been asked to lead a new huddle of just kindergarten campers at YMCA camp. I threw myself into that role, and although the following summer was much better, I loved taking on a larger leadership role. Leading this huddle and being a camp counselor helped me immensely when it came to working with children in the classroom. Also, in the same summer, I convinced my parents to get a dog. I chose a miniature dachshund, who we named Bear, that had the same birthday I did. Bear was a really good decision for my family in terms of healing after my granddaddy's death because he gave us something to focus on and take care of. Bear is two years old. On a whim, a week before my junior year started, I decided to change my schedule to work in my second ceramics course. I found that I really enjoyed wheel throwing and being able to see physical improvements in my work. I continued taking ceramics courses all the way through graduation, even during my semester student teaching. Joan Bird taught me the basic skills of throwing and how to create common functional pieces like cups, bowls, and plates, but also allowed me to partake in more complex projects like the Noble Nine Face Jug Project for the university's 125th celebration. This project is housed in the university's permanent art collection. Upon Joan's retirement, Heather Mae Erickson was hired as the new ceramics instructor. She required me to branch out and experiment with mold making and challenged me to build sculpturally. Spring semester of my senior year, Heather brought in a visiting artist, Molly Hatch. I really enjoyed Hatch's surface design techniques and began to experiment more with my own work and think about what my work meant which I am still doing even now. In that same semester, I was doing my student teaching with high school students. During my student teaching, I was in a great classroom and had a fantastic host teacher with nearly 40 years of experience, but I began to realize that I was not ready to teach full time. I had done well throughout the art education program, even earning an Outstanding Prospective Teacher Award from the College of Education and Allied Professions. By the time I graduated, I knew that I would be attending the HESA program here at Western and working as a graduate community coordinator. I would have not considered graduate school if my resident director, Andrew Murray, during my second year as a resident assistant, had not encouraged me to do so. He had been in a similar situation to me in not enjoying teaching as much as anticipated. Now we have reached the present, which I still have to figure out.